All right, we just had a huge short on the S&P. Let's take a look at it. What, what the charts I sent out to you, I said, listen, what, how can we catch uh, markets that just go vertical on us, right? That just go straight vertical up, vertical down. We know my zone trades have been working very, very well. If you get inside the zone, we look for a pull in. We try to pour ourselves inside of a zone for high probability trades. What happens if this happens like yesterday or today? Watch. What happens if you are too far away from the zone? So here, here's our standard zone. It actually caught the zone, but you can't catch this. It's right after news. It caught the high of the zone on news, but you can't catch it at 8.30. But let's just say that, let, let's, let's watch this, and I'll, I'll show you how, how this works well. What happens if the market just goes vertical like this on us? Vertical. So news comes out, CPI comes out, and a couple seconds it catches the top of my zone and tanks. I mean, that's how accurate these zones are. All that volume coming in and my zone stops it in its tracks. What happens if we never get a, a green WPT rolling position traders up against the zone to go short? We don't want to miss this whole move of from, from a 70 a quarter down to 30. We don't want to miss, you know, the big 45 S&P point move. So what you can do, you can set up another chart, and you can put all my ATRs on one chart. Yesterday, if you are all green on all six of my ATRs, you're going to look for the first pullback to the outside of the shallow ATR. Look for a buy. This is where it's at. Another one. Look for a buy. Opposite color speed bar. It caught it right almost to the tick and exploded. Then it comes down, this is yesterday, then it comes down to the outside of my zone, it's all green, caught it, big explosion in the S&P, no resistance, comes out to the shallow zone, caught it, exploded, straight up, okay? So this morning, I said with news, let's watch and see if we get all, I showed you the chart before news came out, I said, listen, if we go all red, 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 then let's try to get short on the shallow zone, same thing, here's the shallow zone. Here's 8.30 and 11 seconds, right after news, caught the exact move down, the shallow retracement. I missed this one, it was too fast. This is one I did catch. It came up right to the shallow zone again right there. There's your shallow zone. Look at all my retracement arrows firing for confluence. And right there is your short. This is 15 a quarter fill. And it got as hot low as 34. So you can put all, if you're below all red, set up two, you can set up uh, two different charts. You can set up your standard retracement chart, and then you can stand up your, your, you can set up the same five sim Rinko for ultimate big pushes down like this, where you're below all ATRs, and you're looking for it to come up real, up to the outer edge of the shallow, and pull yourself in. Here is a stochastic to pull you in, the DS. Here's a DS to pull you in up here. Got below 80%. And then the buys looked like this yesterday. Buy, 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 buy. The day before, same thing happened right here. Buy the outer edge, buy the outer edge, buy the outer edge. Here's the WPT. That's the best trade you're going to get. All right, we'll show you in the conference call how to set this chart up tonight.